Immediately, I rolled my eyes. I was like, this is not anything that should be taken seriously. But it was. Nicholas Karshum was watching a soccer match early yesterday morning when a loud knock at the door startled him. I opened the door pretty hesitantly and like just peered out and there was two police officers here. They told him they were there on behalf of Toronto police. And just basically asked me like about some tweets and I was like, okay, you're going to have to be a little bit more serious than that. Like I've got 18,000 tweets on my account. It was this tweet about Jose Bautista's future with the Jays. Effing pay the man or I'm throwing the Ted Rogers statue into the harbour. A tall task for one man to remove this 800 pound bronze statue and hurl it into the lake, but Toronto police say a threat is a threat. The officers gave him a verbal warning. People are going to be saying that this is an overreaction. And, and that's possible, and, but like I said, just because it's reported, um, even I don't know that person's ability or their capability to physically remove the statue and throw it in the lake, but um, there is a threat to damage the property. There is enough concern that it was reported to us, so we have to act on it. It's impossible to monitor all tweets in a given day, so the Toronto Police Cybercrimes Unit investigates what's reported to them, whether it's a threat to a person or property. It is a criminal offense and we're going to act on it. Karshum says he'd like to clear his name, fearing the attention from that one tweet two weeks ago will hurt his chances of getting a job. I wasn't expecting it to blow up like this. Like I wasn't expecting my, my name to get out there. I wasn't expecting media to contact me. It was just something that I was looking for support on. Like I thought it was kind of over the top and it had spooked me. And now he's considering changing his Twitter username, not wanting to be known as Toronto Hooligan. Rogers confirmed with us today they did report that tweet and in a statement they said blowing off steam happens it's okay but threatening violence is not we recently consulted police around several violent threats against our drivers and property including arson so they could determine what if any action should be taken they continue to say that they are erring on the side of caution when they report these threats they continue to say also they take the safety of the fans of the employees and the property at the Rogers Centre very seriously. So they will continue uh, to monitor and report uh, tweets of this nature.